right, folks. Today we are looking at a brand new Eastman cello that I just got in, a Model 100. I believe uh, if we look, it says a VC100 full size. And uh, this just came off the FedEx shop, off the FedEx truck, and uh, I just pulled it out of the case. We're looking at some nice flaming there and the maple on it and the back is well the back is fairly fairly generic but overall it's a very nice looking instrument these instruments um, these are all built with solid wood hand carved spruce top and maple back ebony fittings, inlaid purfling, and then that nice kind of golden brown finish on them. And I've also got a set of Yargar strings, and a Whitner tailpiece, and a semi-fitted bridge to go along with it to put on. Um, they come with a half-decent setup straight, straight from the factory, and... Uh, you know, they really don't take a whole lot of tweaking, you know. I haven't, and I mean, this is, the tuning, tuning pegs seem to work very, fairly effortlessly, you know. I mean, given there's no tension on them right now, so we'll see when we tension up if the tuning pegs need a little, need a little fit and finish or, or whatnot. So here is the setup product. This is the Eastman VC100 cello, full size, solid spruce top, carved top and back, inlaid purfling, set up with some Yargar strings. Hope I'm pronouncing that right, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, Whitner tailpiece. It's a, you know what, it's a pretty nice instrument, all in all. Um, setup, I, I had to do a little more than I was expecting. Uh, naturally, the sound post uh, was not in place, was fallen over. I'm not sure if that's uh, standard when they send the cellos, if they need the full sound post adjustment and everything. But uh, it was a little long, I had to trim a little bit, shape a little bit, the bridge was relatively decent, uh, overall height might be a little bit high, especially this is going to a younger lad, uh, I basically shaped the feet and uh, once he gets a hold of it and plays on it for a little bit, he can uh, tell me where he thinks if the string height is too high for him, and, and then we can tweak a little bit from there, that's not a problem, comes with a Run-of-the-mill Holtz fiberglass bow, uh, just fine for a student instrument for learning on. There's nothing, nothing wrong with that at all. It's weighted decent. It's not too much to say about said bow. Now, folks, I am not a cello player in the slightest, but I will try and give you an audio sampling of uh, how it sounds. I think it sounds pretty good, but again, I'm not a cello player. All right, folks, as promised, a little sound off of the, off the uh, Eastman cello, okay? Keeping in mind, I am not a cello player at all. <laughs> G string just sounds very nice to me. Thank you. 
nice tone, nice. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty confident that the, the playability is there. Um, I think uh, straight from straight from Eastman, the setup needs to be needs to be adjusted properly by a by a proper luthier, if you will. Um, other than that, you know, these instruments at the price point that they're at are are, are a great value, I do believe. So. Anyway, feel free to check me out to my website, lucaswelshmusic.com, like my Facebook page, Lucas Welsh Music, and uh, yeah, feel free to drop me a message wherever, whenever. I'm up here in Middle Lake, Saskatchewan, and happy to serve. Thank you.